We're here at Sunshine Coast Animal Refuge to see what makes this charity so special. Today we have Diane, the administrator of SCARS, to shed some light about the refuge and how it operates. So Diane, you're the administrator here at SCARS. Do you mind telling us a little bit about the charity and how long it's been around? SCARS is uh, an acronym for the Sunshine Coast Animal Refuge and we've uh, been here for 32 years. And what services do you offer? We provide refuge for all the Sunshine Coast uh, abandoned unwanted, surrendered cats and dogs, basically, and we take them in and we keep them for as long as we need to keep them until we can rehome them. And what sets SCARS apart from other animal refuges, shelters, or say the local town? Mainly because we don't euthanise. Um, that makes us quite different. Um, the fact we've been here for so long um, is another reason why we're, we're quite different because a lot of places don't survive. Being a charity, how does the community support SCARS and its business? Uh, we do a lot of fundraising, we get a lot of grants, we get a lot of requests, so we're able to financially support ourselves. We're having a rather large garage sale at the moment and we'll get literally thousands of people coming out. So yeah, we wouldn't be here, we, would, we wouldn't be here without our volunteers and we wouldn't be here without the community. With volunteers in mind, we decided to catch up with Anna, a dog supervisor, for Monday morning. How did you first get involved with SCARS? I uh, first heard about SCARS actually when my dog passed away daily. That's what that is. Um, we got him cremated over at the um, pet cremation here. Um, he was everything to me. I honestly didn't know after losing him whether or not I'd ever be able to have another dog. I've had dogs my whole life, but he was like a son to me. Um, so that's how I first heard about Scars and once he got cremated I came in and thought he actually passed away on a Monday. So I started off, I thought well I'll come in and spend time with these animals, thought that that would be something, good way of putting back into the universe basically. But um, So that's how I actually heard about Scars, came over and spoke to Rosie the President. So um, I come here basically to celebrate his life every Monday, but yeah, I'm very passionate, I love animals and um, yeah, it feels good for myself. And what is your role here on a Monday morning? Well, basically, I do every, like everything, but it's more around um, keeping the team following the policies and procedures of the refuge, um, and just making sure everything's running smoothly. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. But Anna then introduced us to some other volunteers who told us why they choose to work at Scars. Well, I volunteer because of the animals, and it means that for me, I can give back to the community in some sort of way. And it means that they're all happy and safe. Well, my old dog that I had 12 years ago came from here and when he died I came back because I just love the animals and I now have a, I've adopted another one from here who's 18 months old today. Well, I actually first volunteered here and then I was only here for two days and then I got paid, offered a paid position, cleaning, dog kennel cleaning. Um, I done it because I wasn't working at the time and. Um, I've been here three years since and met a whole lot of wonderful people and um, you know, I just really like being here for the animals. That's the main thing. Yeah. I think sometimes we get too caught up in our own lives and we forget um, to give back and I love animals so for me these animals they depend on you so if you can sort of take out being a little bit worried about your own life for a little while and give of your time to our animals that need it, that's, that, that's a uh, sort of a heartwarming thing and that makes it all, all worthwhile. So that's why I volunteered here, plus we lost our little man, our little doggy, and he sort of inspired us to come and give back to his, his doggy mates and for us that's, that's why I'm a volunteer here.